Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. Oh, Remy says hello. <laughs> get down. I do apologize. Remy, come on now. Hold on, let me get Remy a bone. Okay, um, today is actually Monday. I am never usually cutting it this close on my vlogs. However, things are just picking up and seem to be getting busier and busier and I'm having a hard time finding time <laughs> to like vlog. Okay, hold on. Ah! My water is boiling for my ravioli, hold on. <laughs> okay, I know this isn't a great angle, but um, we are learning how to multitask and I know you guys like don't care, you know, whether it's just like a snippet of my day or whatever. Uh, but you know, I prefer to have a more curated vlog. Um, not even a curated vlog, but just like take a little bit more time in, you know, if I'm gonna do days in my life or like a get ready with me segment in my video. Um, but if I'm being honest today, I am just recording a video just to get a video up. I think that, you know, consistency is key and I have never not uploaded a video on a Tuesday ever since I started my YouTube channel like I guess it was like two years ago and so I do apologize for the chaotic energy that has been happening around here but um, there's just a lot going on uh, lots of work to be done and I just like this morning I was really well first of all I was planning to do a Sunday reset video yesterday, which I should have known I wasn't going to be up for because I just absolutely want to do nothing. Um, like we went to church, came back and just like played with Remy in the park and like took her on a walk because it was so pretty. But like, I usually don't ever want to do more than that. And I just simply could not muster up the energy to do anything yesterday. And so I had to give myself a little bit of grace. I was like, it's okay. We'll, we'll just have to do it tomorrow. Sorry. That's know what's going on there but um that was my plan and then the day got away from me and here we are but <laughs> I um like this morning like I was saying I woke up and Mondays are just tough because like everything hits you like my inbox is full to the brim and I'm like if I know if I don't I know if I don't answer the emails at like 9 a.m. then I won't be answering them till 5 p.m. and I want to be considerate of people's time and like my management team they're EST so and I'm in central time so I know that like if I email them at like 4 it's not getting seen and I like to be timely and I am a really you know pretty prompt email responder but um you know like sometimes emails if I like and needing to select items or like do revisions or like, I don't know, stuff, you know, just stuff. It could take me a long time to get through my inbox. And so anyway, I just sat down and did all that this morning, got through my inbox. I was like, okay, at least that's done. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I have to finish, you know, scheduling my blog post for this week and do my YouTube video and also film my YouTube, edit my YouTube video today. And you know, it's going to be okay gonna be okay we're gonna get it all done um but i just feel like there are a lot of things on my to-do list always <laughs> and i always just you know I, if you haven't read eat that frog it's a really good productivity book that i probably need to reread and, and maybe my problem is i choose to eat the frog too much instead of like I don't know, I, I guess it's a good thing, you know, to get my like important tasks done, but I just feel like I have so many important tasks, it's hard to choose which is which. Like for me, main priority today is to get a YouTube video edited and scheduled for tomorrow. But also another priority is to get my newsletter scheduled for Friday, but I understand like Friday is later in the week, so I can give that a day to do that, but I just like to get it all done, you know? I like to get it all done. But as we are here, cooking my random lunch of butternut squash <laughs> ravioli. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. I know I talked a little bit about it on my Instagram stories, but my homeschool blog post went live last Thursday. So it is on my blog. I'll leave a link to it in the description. 
overwhelming response. Still DMs flooding in of people just being like, thank you so much for writing this. And people being like, I had a really similar experience. People being like, I never really considered homeschooling my kids, but like now I am. Like it seems like such a valuable thing to offer your kids. And anyway, in the post, I wanted to make it clear that like no way is perfect. Like, especially if you are the parent, which is why I wanted, like, my mom's side of things. Like, homeschooling is certainly not for everyone. Like, I know people that homeschooling would not work for them. And there are also so many ways to do it. Like, my mom and I could do a whole podcast on homeschooling because there's so many ways to do things. Especially, like, even just, like, state to state, honestly. Like, Everything, everything is different. Like being homeschooled in Mississippi, I know would be a totally different experience than like homeschooling here in Dallas. Like that would be totally different. But um, anyway, it's, you know, we just answered a lot of the frequently asked questions. Like, did I feel prepared for college? How did I make friends? How did I go to prom? Did I have to take tests? and stuff like that. So um, anyway, all the feedback has been amazing and I appreciate everyone taking the time to read such a lengthy post, but I included lots of pictures to make it fun and entertaining. And um, anyway, excited about that. Like those longer blog posts do take a minute. Like I think that was like three we weeks worth of editing and stuff like that. But um, it's glad I'm glad to see that like it's paid off and has been insightful and helpful for people and I could honestly do like a part two and part three on it because there's just like so much to so many aspects of it but anyway so that is all I have for that uh it is one o'clock I'm like where did the day go I'm just like I'm not losing it I'm good but um last week I had a goal for myself to do my quiet time every morning. Sometimes I do it at night. Sometimes, honestly, I don't have time for it and I don't do it. So I've been very inconsistent with that. But last week I did a really good job of doing my quiet time every single morning because I would like write it down every day. You, you know, I write down my like five tasks to do and then like anything extra is like bonus points. Um, and so I started writing my quiet time into my like five tasks and really, it really helped. I was able to do it. I, I think every day, I want to say I, I missed Friday, I think, but otherwise pretty good. And if I don't do it in the morning, then I'll, like I said, I'll usually do it at night. Um, which like my quiet time for me is usually just like journaling. I sometimes will go in between using new morning mercs, new morning mercies and fighting words by LA Holcomb are the two devotionals I, I really enjoy and I need to get a new one. I need to join a Bible study. That's what I need to do. Like maybe I'll start one anyway. Um, but I did not get to do that this morning. It is now the afternoon. I need to put that back on my goal sheet, but honestly, I haven't even, I mean, my to-do list, but honestly, I haven't even had a second to write down my to-do list for today. So, uh, I will do that this afternoon. Okay. My ravioli is looking finished. Let me make this real quick. Okay. I just finished lunch. Well, I didn't actually finish it. It was a lot of food. I found that lately I haven't had much of an appetite for things. Like nothing sounds good for lunch. Like I'm just, I was really on my salad kick and then I got over my salads. And lately, like the only thing that sounds good is just like a pretzel. And I know that's not like lunch, but usually I, like sometimes I just have some pretzels, which I know is not good. But sometimes that's the only thing that sounds good. So sorry, that chomping is really on her bone. But um, I got some stuff to make some healthier smoothies because sometimes that sounds good to me and I can like throw in spinach and stuff into that. So I might be getting back into my smoothie era because it's easy and like tastes, sounds good to me sometimes. So, okay, now I'm at the point where I'm like, do I shower or is it too late in the day? I'm about to have to take Remy to the park and on a walk anyway. Do I just stay in my workout clothes? And kind of thinking that's what I'm just going to have to do. I need to wash my face. Oh my gosh, it's like 2 o'clock and I need to wash my face. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Every time I start talking, she has to get up. Oh, lordy. 
okay i am about i'm uploading footage and i'm about to edit this youtube video because i realize it's the one thing stressing me out the most that i just need to get done so i can have a video up i do apologize for the chaotic nature of this video she got settled back down um i promise the next video will be much better i'm thinking i'm gonna do um i think my taylor swift era's tour outfit but honestly it's quite underwhelming because i'm just wearing like normal clothes like i'm not doing a costume or anything i'm just doing like a, a cute thing but um maybe i'll like put some options together of like if you have nothing to wear like last minute taylor swift outfit options i don't know that's what seems to be everyone's questions these days is taylor swift era's outfit concert ideas i'm going this sunday to the concert and I'm really excited about it, but I can't think about that right now because I have so much to do before I get to that point. So anyway, thank you for watching. I promise the next video will be much better. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, leave a comment what you're wearing to the Taylor Swift era's tour if you're going, and I'll see you guys in the next video.